What's up everyone? It's only a few days since the last video. We're back out on the road doing a few bits. So we're gonna hit a couple of the charity shops. Uh, there's one I'm gonna go straight to. I missed a DVD set there the last time. So we're gonna pop the head in there, see if that's still there. And you never know, they might have a few more games. Uh, so let's just get straight into it and see what we pick up. Okay, so success, they still had it, it was three euro, and on the shelf above it, they actually had volume two as well, so we got the two of those. So if you ever see me miss something, I always say it in the comments, because going back in for them led me to this pile. Another nine PS2 game, some absolute class titles in there, so uh, let's just keep going, see what else the day brings. Right, so it's another day. We've hit like four charity shops. Didn't see anything mad, but we got a few bits and bobs. We got a Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the PSP for Euro. Uh, the Godfather for the PSP for Euro. A Spider-Man UMD. I don't know. I don't really see UMDs that much, but when I see them, I'm going to just start picking them up. Uh, just to have for a little collection or something like that. And then uh, nothing in the second and third stop. And the last stop I just picked up. There was three WWE DVDs. Uh, Survivor Series. I don't know which one it is. Oh, Survivor Series 2002. Um, then it was just a Fatal 4-Way and TLC. Uh, sometimes the WWE DVDs could be worth a few bob. Uh, they were a euro each and they do DVDs three for the price of two in there. So, so for two euro we can't go around and give them a go. And uh, just in the first stop as well, I picked up a little Luigi. Uh, they just threw him in with the PSP stuff. But that's, uh, that's a nice little thing for the shelf. So uh, we go again another day, see how we go for the rest of the week. Okay, so that another day ended up being a week and a half later. We're finally out of quarantine. We're going straight back out game hunting. I'm going to drop the car off in a town uh, that I can hit about eight charity shops in a row. So we're going to get out there, get back game hunting, and anything we pick up there, we'll show off in the game room here when we get back.
Right, so we're back in the game room. As you see, there's loads to go through. We're going to start flying through the games here. Now we'll be here all night. Uh, but going back to the very first video where I got the Thundercats box sets, we picked up nine PS2 games. These were two euro each. Uh, so we got Gift. Uh, nothing special at the start here, but there's some good ones in this pile. Uh, London Taxi Rush Hour. Ninja Assault. All games that I don't have, so these are all straight into the collection. Uh, Tack 2, The Staff of Dreams. Toy the Tasmanian Tiger. Kaya Dark Lineage, this one actually looks really good. I'm looking forward to having a play of that. Uh, and then the last three, these are all selling for double figures, so these were class pickups. Uh, we got Crash Nitro Kart. Tony Hawk's Underground 2. This was a banger back in the day, I used to love playing this. And then Beautiful Joe. Uh, so 18 euro for all those games. I think they sell for about 75, so there's probably 30 euro worth of trade there, so great little pickup. Um, other than that, before we ended up in quarantine, we just picked up a few more odds and ends. Um, the first UMD for the collection we picked up Spider-Man. I have seen these in the past and I was a bit reluctant to pick them up, but I just said if I see them for Euro, I'm going to start getting them and put a little collection together. Uh, and then they had two PSP games. They had Star Wars Battlefront 2 and The Godfather. Uh, these are both complete. Uh, I can't remember, I think they're worth about 4 or 5 Euro. I'll do a little thing down the bottom anyway with all the prices as I go along. Uh, and then just three random WWE DVDs. Uh, I won't go into these too much. Uh, used to be into the wrestling back in the day. Um, this Survivor Series 2002, I don't know, was this the first Elimination Chamber? Uh, maybe not, but that was the, the main event in it. Uh, fun fact, I won't go into too much detail, but I have been in the actual Elimination Chamber. And I've stood face to face with the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. So there you go, a random fact for the day. I'll leave it to your imagination what I was doing in there. Yeah, so that's it for the pre-quarantine pickups. Um, I did do some online hunting. Uh, a lot of stuff actually arrived today for that, so I'm not going to go through it in this video because I've got so much as it is, so I'll do that in a separate one. Uh, but one other game that did arrive in the post uh, was this Sudeki on the OG Xbox. This was very kindly sent to me by Feed Me Chicken. I'm going to put a link down below. If you're not already checking out this channel, you need to go and have a look. Bloke is an absolute gent. I say bloke, but he's half man, half chicken. Uh, and he literally, I mean literally consumes video games. So if that doesn't pique your interest, I don't know what will. You need to go check his channel out. Uh, but very kind of him, uh, he sent it over to me. Didn't want anything for it. Looking forward to having a play of it. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be allowed just yet because I've been told it looks a bit booby. Uh, I'm not really sure what that means. But um, I might ask Mark, Georgie Slasher Gaming. Uh, Feed Me Chicken said he's a big fan of this game. Uh, he said he does keep a few tissues on hand when he plays it. So I don't know what that means. Probably gets very excited, his hands get very sweaty and all that. So... Uh, we'll give him a shout and see what he says about it. Moving on then, uh, back to the game hunting that I was in, Drogheda. Um, I mentioned in the talk and I was going to head in there, just drop the car off and just hit eight shops in a row. So this is everything that came from that little trip. Uh, but first up, uh, we picked up a copy of Smackdown vs Raw 2006 on the PSP. And then Grand Theft Auto 4 for the 360. Uh, this is the classics version. Uh, I don't have this one on the 360. Um, so we'll hold on to it for now, but this is a really good trader. I think CEX sell it for 20, so probably get 12 or 13 in trade. Again, I'll just put all the price information and stuff down the bottom. Um, didn't pick up anything in the next stop. Popped into CEX, finally got myself a GameCube game this year. Uh, picked up a copy of Resident Evil Zero. This was complete with a really nice manual, um, and it was 20 euro. So I had like 67 euro in trade credit. One of them was exactly 20 euro, so picked up out of that so delighted to have that finally get the gamecube collection moving this year hopefully uh next decent stop uh picked up these seven bits uh, there's only three games in them i picked up this skylanders giants uh, i don't know why i think it's only worth about two three quid but for 50 cents which is what it was we'd even get a nice case out of it uh, i did a copy of need for speed shift on the ps3 that was 50 cent as well and then a euro for john woo presents stranglehold on the 360 so more stuff for the collection um but the great thing about that stuff was we picked up a few blu-rays i don't normally pick them up i just said i must start looking at prices and stuff like that when i'm out uh, we picked up four of these these were a euro each so i grabbed iron man that's just something for my own blu-ray collection uh ice age 4 continental drift 3d this actually trades for well, i think it sells for about six and trades for two so we'll double up on that uh walking with dinosaurs again we should get a couple of quid in trade for it uh, but this one, it'd probably be a bit of a shame to trade it off Labyrinth on Blu-ray, but this trades for like €7. Euro. So all in all, I have a few more games to show, but I think my total spend when I was in Drogheda uh, was €15. Euro. And just trading these alone should get me back to like 11 So it pretty much means all the games from that trip we got add straight into the collection and we're only going to be about €4 euro out of pocket for them. So 
I don't know, might keep it, might trade it. We'll wait and see what happens. Uh, but next up, these were 50 cent each. A copy of Titanfall on the Xbox One. Dragon Age 2 for the 360. And then I almost walked away from this. I seen, I had to go back for it. I got so much stick about the Thundercats DVDs in the last pickups video. If I didn't pick this up, I'd have retro ed straight in the comments going mad at me. Uh, but we picked up this mask DVD. So uh, we'll check that out, see what it's all about. I know he's a big fan of it. Um, and then we've two more stops. The last stop that I showed on video, uh, picked up five games. These were all 50 cent each. So we got Tony Hawk Ride on the PS3. Disney Universe on the 360. Case is in absolute shite, but you look, we'll swap that out. Um, I think that goes about uh, 10 or something like that to CEX, so that's not a bad one to have. Um, Smackdown, just bring it on the PlayStation 2. And then I picked up two PC titles, but don't collect PC titles. I was more interested in trading them off. Uh, but we got Crisis and Resident Evil 4. I just had a little quick look and I seen they go for the five, six euros, so I thought they might be good traders. But CEX, I think they give you 130 for one of them and 40 cents for the other, so. I'm not going to bother trading them, I'm not going to hold on to them either. I am putting a little collection of stuff together that I want to send to someone, so they'll go into that pile. Um, and then our last stop, I did fill them in there, but there was like two fluorescent lights constantly flashing above the head, so I don't want to give anyone a seizure. So I uh, just had one game, Def Jam Vendetta on the PS2. So I've actually played this, this is actually a good crack, so nice with the half of the collection. Yeah, so that's it for this one, lots of good stuff for the collection, not really too much to trade, just a few Blu-rays and that, but we'll put a little tally down the bottom, just how much we spent, what we'd expect to get back in trade, and pretty much what everything is worth. Um, as you see, we used about 20 quid trade credit to get that Resident Evil 0 for the GameCube, so that brings us down to 47, but I do have a small pile to bring up for trade, so I'm going to add those few Blu-rays to that. Uh, hopefully next video will be out in two weeks so we'll do a bit more game hunting and we'll see where the trade credit is from there fingers crossed we'll pick up some more gamecube games as well in the meantime but yeah that's it for this one uh like i said hopefully we'll see you again in two weeks i uh, hope you're all keeping well uh, look after yourselves and we'll see you again soon cheers